In this example, we're going to look at a virtualization circular business model type that is about replacing a physical material consuming product with a virtual or digital solution. Examples of these include Amazon's Kimball that replaced physical books, the iPod which revolutionized music and eliminated the need for physical records or CDs, and with Spotify you can now access millions of songs. Not so long ago, if you wanted to watch a blockbuster movie at home, you had to jump in the car, drive down to the local video store, rent a DVD, drive back home, watch the movie, and then take it back again the next day. Netflix started out initially aiming to disrupt this industry by providing a DVD rental service where they would post the DVD movies to your home. They then transitioned to a subscription model and virtualized their service with video streaming via the internet. Let's look at their business model. Their customer segments are people who want to watch movies at home. Their original value proposition was a range of latest release movies delivered straight to your door. A CD would be sent via the postal service to customers and their relationships involved a range of marketing methods and word of mouth. Revenues were derived by a subscription payment and the customers paid per month. Key resources included warehouses to store the thousands of DVDs that they had, logistics to organize the shipping, and of course the actual library of DVDs that they needed. Key partnerships included relationships with the content creators and the DVD manufacturers. Key activities included marketing and sales. And finally, all of this adds together to provide our cost basis. Netflix then moved to virtualize their value proposition by changing their business model from shipping a physical product to people's homes and instead offering a streaming service via the internet. They created a streaming technology and platform and a new channel to deliver the value proposition to their customers via the internet. Their revenue model stayed broadly the same, but of course they no longer needed the DVD manufacturers and instead directly licensed the movies from the production companies. Between 2005 and 2009, there was an average of 2 billion DVDs sold every year. In 2022, this was down to just 300 million DVDs worldwide. So virtualization has helped to eliminate the need to manufacture almost 2 billion DVDs every year and all the materials and energy that would have gone into them. But on the negative side of the sustainability impacts, a digital service also requires lots of energy, which means that Netflix would need to start looking at things like purchasing renewable energy.